Hey everybody, um, how are you doing today? I just wanted to come by and uh, do a video and wish everybody a happy Mother's Day. So this is my Mother's Day glam look. I think that every mother today should really have some time for herself and do what she loves to do. Go to the spa, um, do your nails, do anything that you really, really love. And for me, it's my makeup. So this is the look that I did for all you ladies. Um, and if you want to see how I did it, then uh, keep watching. I love you all. Happy Mother's Day. And I hope your day is and will be awesome. Okay, bye. Hey, everybody. Um, welcome to my channel. Um, I don't know why I say that twice, because I always say it in like the beginning intro. <laughs> But yeah, welcome to my channel and welcome back to um, my followers that are watching my videos and welcome to all the new followers I have that maybe this might be your first video of mine that you're watching. So thank you very much if that is you. So yeah, thank you. And I just want to say um, happy Mother's Day um, here in Canada and probably most of like a lot like a lot of other places they're celebrate, celebrating Mother's Day today too but I do know of some places that I think in the UK they're not selling celebrating selling <laughs> celebrating uh, Mother's Day but still everybody even if you're not celebrating Mother's Day today I still want to say happy Mother's Day to you from me and my family to you and yours Oh, so today I was doing some gardening, um, I planted some flowers, me and the hubby cleaned up the yard for the most part, um, it was a good day, so, but it is so hot out there, um, so I'm going to finish, um, probably till I'm going to start do some more tomorrow and, you know, do a little bit every day till it's done, um, so yeah, and then I came in, um, I took my girls, we got some... We went and got some Slurpees, so yeah, we got some Slurpees, and then I came home, had a shower, and here I am. I just wanted to, um, find my, uh, little brush of fuss with the moss. Alright, so let's see, I'm just kind of scrolling through. Okay, so um, I did find something that I'm really, really kind of leaning towards. I was kind of thinking in my head while I was looking through, um, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a cut crease and do some, like, um, dark purples, maybe just, like, above here, like, start off with a light purple, um, and then work on some medium and then keep going a little bit darker and kind of make it like a really good cut crease so nothing is on my lids, no other color. And then I am going to do, um, I think I'm going to put on like wet my brush with some setting spray and really glam up my lid with my champagne um, colored, um, this is like a really intense shimmer. Um, and I have some other colors like shimmer colors like that that I'm going to probably um, add in and so this is the look that I found which I think is kind of going towards the look that I was thinking of so that is the look that I think that I am kind of going to go for but um, it's not going to be black and it's not going to be just a little bit of um, black smoke out on the side it's going to be it's going to be good so yeah that was um that was pretty easy, actually. <laughs> I'm actually excited. I love doing cut creases. I love doing um, those types of things. Okay, so usually I put on a transition color, but since today I'm doing a bit of a different look, I'm not going to do that. And I'm kind of glad that I do have such thin brushes because... Um, it's really going to be quite easy to do a cut crease. Um, I do have all my Morphe brushes, but those are the kind that I don't need right now um, because you just can't, you just can't really do a cut crease with that. So, um, 
So what I'm going to use is this um, Ace VV palette. It's the one that I have with all the colors in it. I think what I'm going to do though is just put like on a light, um, a light um, base all over just to kind of really make my eyes, um, my colors really pop a little bit. So I do have, if I can find it in this crazy mess. Oh, there it is. Thank goodness. I need a big sharpener for this. I wish I had one. But anyways, this is a white pencil. And I'm just going to put this on. Yeah, I need a sharpener for this. I'm just going to put a little more on my lids here. And this will be my transition color. It's like a really nice white um, sheer. And I think that um, it's really going to make my like color pop that I put on. Alright, so these are the colors that I have. So, um, I'm going to have to be really, really light-handed with, um, with my colors because I do have this purple, but it is kind of dark too. So, I'm just trying to think, do I have, is it in my bonbon? I'm wondering if I have a nice light purple. Sorry, I should need to check. I should have got this already, but I wanted to pick a um, pick one with you. No, there's not. One thing about these um, CoverGirl is that they are extremely powdery. I wish that they would come up with a formula that is not. Um, yeah, um, you know, like so powdery. So I'm going to take it really, really slow. I feel like I just want it there. I do not want any more going on my lid. And you see what I mean? Like, um, this is like really, it's not light, light, but it's light enough. And with this, um, with this, uh, white base on, it really kind of brings the color out. So, I'm not going to leave it like this. I will blend it out, but I just kind of want to get the color on first. So, I'll show you the color that I'm using. It's this color right here. See, it's not like dark, dark. I'm surprised it's actually going on this dark as it is, so. But that's okay. It's the look that I kind of want, so. So again. It's just perfect. So I just kind of want to bring it up just a bit.
Thank you. Thank you.